Hi, Julie. Am I disturbing you? No, that's alright. I'm just finishing up here. What are you doing? I'm recycling some old newspapers. I thought it was time I did my part for the environment. Wow, I didn't know you were such a responsible citizen. Well, everyone has to make a start somewhere. This is quite easy, you know. Mentor helped me by telling me the equipment that I need. Alright, let me guess now. First, you blend it. Then you pour it onto the screen. Blot it. And voila! Then you get a new piece of paper, right? Yes, something like that. Although you did leave out some important details. Hey, can I see what the end product looks like? Yeah, sure. There are a few sheets drying over there, and there's some over here. Wow, this is really neat, Zoe. Let's show it to Elena and Chandran. Yeah, I'm waiting for them to come to the club. Okay, need any help? Okay, you can help me rip this up. What are you doing? I'm recycling some old newspapers. I thought it was time I did my part for the environment. Recycling. This means to treat things that have already been used so that they can be used again. Environment. This refers to the natural world in which people, animals, and plants live. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. Hey, what are you doing? We're making paper. What's this? Can you guess? Would I be wrong if I say it's a plain piece of paper? No, but this paper is very special, Alina. Julie made it all by herself. Made it? What he means is that I recycled some old newspaper to make this sheet of paper. Hey, what a coincidence. Elena was just helping me with my class project on method to save the environment. And recycling is one of them too. Yes, did you know that according to scientists, it won't be long before all the world's oil reserves will be completely exhausted. Wow, Mentor, that's a scary thought. Actually, there are many things we can do to save the environment. Yes, and recycling is just one of them. Sometimes it's hard to understand why we need to save the environment. It seems fine as it is. Yes, and that is why it is important to educate people on the dangers faced by the environment. I agree with Borhan. Not being affected in any serious way makes us oblivious to what is really happening. Yeah, you know what they say, ignorance is bliss. Yeah. I agree with Borhan. Not being affected in any serious way makes us oblivious to what is really happening. Oblivious. Being unaware of something. Yeah, you know what they say, ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. A saying which means if you do not know about something, you can't worry about it. Well, uh, Chandran, have you finished your project yet? Yes, I had it over yesterday. So you must be quite an expert on the environment now. Not an expert, but I do know a number of things I can do in my house to help save the environment. Such as? We can start conserving water. You mean stop using water? No, Borhan. What Chandra means is that we should turn off the water when it is not in use, like when you wash the car. Rather than leave the tap running, you should fill up a few buckets with water and then use them instead. You'll be amazed at the amount of water you end up saving. That's right. Next, we should try to use our legs to walk to school, wherever and whenever possible. Yes, that's good old-fashioned advice which really works. The less number of cars on the streets, the less our air be polluted with the fumes. It also means that where there are less cars on the street, less diesel and petrol will be needed. And this is good, since the world is already running low on its oil resources. Boy, oh, you really lost me there. A renewable resource is something which can be made again easily. And as I'm sure you know, 
Oil takes thousands and thousands of years to be produced. Another very important thing we can do to reduce the amount of pollution on our earth is to recycle and reuse. Oh, I didn't know there's a difference between recycling and reusing. Yes, I just learned from Mentor here that objects that are recycled are cut up, melted and manufactured into other products. Whereas to reuse an object is to just find another use for it without going through the melting and manufacturing process. For example, you can recycle old newspaper like Jolie did to give you new sheets for of paper. You can also reuse them instead by placing a few layers of them around your garden. Plants until they are area in well covered and then covering with a thick layer of soil. The newspaper would do a good job in preventing weeds from growing. It's alright to do that with newspapers because they are biodegradable, but not with plastics. Bio what? Biodegradable means the product can be broken down into harmless products by the action of bacteria. That's why it's important to sort our rubbish carefully before it's dumped. Then the different kinds of rubbish can be treated differently. Oh, that explains the three huge colorful beans outside the BP station. Yeah, let's go take a look. Um, I've been curious about those beans since they've been placed there. Come on! We can start conserving water. You mean, stop using water? Conserving. To use as little of something as possible, so that it lasts a long time. The less number of cars on the streets, the less our air be polluted with the fumes. Fumes. Smoke, gas or something similar that is dangerous to breathe in. And this is good, since the world is already running low on its oil resources. Running low. Used to describe a situation where there is not enough of something. Boy, you really lost me there. You really lost me there. A way of saying that you did not understand what was said. <clears throat> so, did everybody see the separate bins for aluminium cans and plastics, glass bottles and paper? Yes, we did. As plastic are not biodegradable and only end up polluting the earth, and by slowly releasing toxic, then they should be collected separately. Then they can be melted down and be recycled. By the way, do you know what is the symbol used to show that a product has been or can be recycled? Let me guess. Is it that the three arrows that join to make up a triangle? That's right. I've seen that symbol used on recycled cardboard boxes. Oh, you're right, Chandran. There's also a number written on the inside of the triangle. Yes, it tells you the type of plastic the board is made of. Hey, maybe we can start a similar project in school. You know, collecting plastic, tin cans, bottles, and papers to be recycled. Yes, let's do that. It will be a very interesting project. I'll speak to Chegu Raza. Maybe he'll help us start an environment awareness week or something like that. And we could also use Mentor's help. I am at your service. Thank you, Mentor. Let's aim to start by the beginning of next week. We still have a number of days to go. In that case, I'd better go and see if I can find Chegu Razak now. Anyone want to come with me? I'll go with you, Borhan. Okay, come on. I've seen that symbol used on recycled cardboard boxes. Symbol. A sign, number or letter that represents something. We did. As plastic are not biodegradable and only end up polluting the earth, and by slowly releasing toxic, then they should be collected separately. Then they can be melted down and be recycled. Toxins. Poisonous substances. Yeah, that's really great. Wow, I didn't know Environment Awareness Week could be this successful. I'm really proud of our school. Yes, everyone chipped in to make it a success. And you could see that they were really caught up in saving and protecting our environment. 
Yes, the project which you presented to them during assembly really made many of them sit up and take notice. Well, I have all of you to thank. I couldn't have done it all by myself. The environment is an important part of our lives. Just think, every day, when a tree is cut, water is waved or foams are injected into the air. The future looks so dismal. We have some hope to the next generation that the environment will be protected from their enjoyment as well. Wow! I didn't know my friend could be so philosophical. That's a great speech, Chandra. Come on, friend. Give him a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad the school had decided to adopt some of the recommendations you made to help protect our environment, Chandra. After working on the project, I see I've gained more knowledge on the environment. I think I'll be an environmentalist when I finish school. Well, good luck to you, Chandran. It's a very noble profession. It'll give us all something to think about over the weekend. I have to be off now. Bye, everyone. Me too. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See you next week. Yes, everyone chipped in to make it a success. Chipped in. An expression meaning to join in. See that they were really caught up in saving and protecting our environment. Caught up. An expression that means to be influenced or swept away by the excitement of doing something. I didn't know my friend could be so philosophical. That's a great speech, Chandra. Philosophical. The use of reasoning and argument in seeking the truth. I think I'll be an environmentalist when I finish school. Environmentalist, a person who is concerned with or advocates the protection of the environment. Hi, how are both of you doing? Fine. Good. Hey, Chandran, I see we have a change of scene today, huh? Yes, I thought it would be nice to go on an outing. By the way, Chandran, how do you do in your literature class on Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? What would I have done without friends like you to save the day for me? If we have not gone through the story together, I would not have been able to manage. I was even able to answer all the questions correctly. I think all of us understood the story better that way, don't you think? Of course! And guess what? We're doing a poem in our next class and the teacher has asked us to read it first. I've already read it, but it would be great if you could go through it together before that. That's not a problem. I like poems, like Roses are red, violets are blue. I love you and you love me too. Who wrote that? Mohan just made it up, Chandran. I definitely like Alina's one. Is this one um, life brief scandal also as good as Borhan's? Dude, it's even better because William Shakespeare wrote it. It's got a deeper meaning unlike roses are red, violets are blue, I love you and you love me too, which is quite straightforward and simple to understand. Boy, that sounds heavy. I can't wait to text my brains. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen Chandran looking so forward to a literature reading. <laughs> <laughs> Well, before we go any further, I'd like to explain to you what a poem is. A poem is a piece of creative writing, composed in a rhythmic and often rhyming form, usually designed to express deep feelings and thoughts. Hi, how are both of you doing? Fine. Good. Hey, hey. hey Chandran, I see we have a change of scene today, huh? Yes, I thought it would be nice to go on an outing. Change of scene. To see and experience new surroundings. Go on an outing. To take a short trip. What would I have done without friends like you to save the day for me? Save the day. To prevent a disaster from happening. Boy, that sounds heavy. I can't wait to text my brains. Heavy describes a style that is serious or difficult to understand.
Everybody watch out for falling coconuts. Hey, what say you that we do the reading right here? I'm game for it. Yes, it's quite nice setting for a poem reading. You know, you guys are not that bad after all. This space is so cool. You're always a dreamer, Alina. Borhan, since you just love poems, and Alina is such a romantic, why don't you and Alina read the poem? Thank you. I'll do it with pleasure. It'll be even better if we can imagine we're reading in front of a stage audience. Okay, let me do the introductions. Presenting a reading on William Shakespeare's Life's A Brief Candle by Borhan and Alina. <clears throat> Life's brief candle. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time, and all our yesterdays have lighted full the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. That was excellent, Borhan Alina. Thank you. Thank you. You've got to remember one thing when you're doing poetry, and that is to read it with feelings. It's quite good, you know. What I want to know is, how can a poem or a candle be so interesting? No, my friend. It's about our life. Our life on this earth. He's also trying to say that our life is like a candle. Candle? Life? I can't think anything without any food in my stomach. Okay, time out. It's time to take a break now. You know what they say, a hungry man is an angry man. <laughs> oh, good. I'm game for it. Game for it. To be eager and willing to do something. You're always the dreamer, Alina. Always the dreamer. A person who likes to imagine things. Thank you. I'll do it with pleasure. It'll be even better if we can imagine we're reading in front of a stage audience. Always the dreamer. A person who likes to imagine things. Thank you. I'll do it with pleasure. With pleasure. An expression to say that one is pleased to accept something. You know what I say. A hungry man is an angry man. A hungry man is an angry man. A saying that means, when your stomach is empty, you cannot concentrate on your task. No, what's it called? Excuse me, can we call this meeting to order now, guys? Sorry, boss. I think I should get on with our poem. After that, we can talk all we like. Okay, where do we start? Could someone explain what this poem Life's Brief Can is all about? Yes, sure, Chandra. Let me demonstrate to you what it all means. Great idea. I see I've brought props with you as well. Basically, the poem refers to our lives on this earth. When you light a candle, it burns so badly. Like this. Yes, I got the start of our lives. <coughs> After a while, the candle starts to melt until nothing is left of it except for the memory of the candle that was there. Oh hey, that was a good demonstration. I understand the poem so much better now. But wait, there's more to it. Shakespeare also says that our life on Earth is like a stage where all of us play a part. Oh, I get the picture now. We all are here to play our part, just like the candle, until the end of our lives. Yes, Chandan, that's right. Oh, the meaning of the poem is so deep. I really like Shakespeare. Excuse me, can we call this meeting to order now, guys? Sorry, boss. Call the meeting to order. To stop the meeting. Oh, the meaning of the poem is so deep. I really like Shakespeare. Meaning is so deep. Very meaningful. Do you 
guys know that Shakespeare is considered the greatest dramatist in the world and the finest poet who has written in the English language? Yes, he was the greatest. Well, I'm a little nervous. I have to recite this poem in front of the whole class tomorrow. Don't worry, Alina. You did fine yesterday. Just remember to read it slowly and make sure you pronounce the words clearly. Dad, make sure to add some feelings into it. Like how you did, Borhan? Oh, I wish I was as confident as you are, Borhan. Take a deep breath, Alina, and imagine there is no one in front of you. I'll try that tactic and see if it works, Borhan. Practice makes perfect, Alina. In that case, I had better start for home. I need all the time to practice reading this poem. Me too. It has been a long day for me. I need to have a shower, get some rest, and finish up on my homework, guys. So, Borhan, can I let my friends in Ipoh know that the city boy is making a visit? Uh, I think it's a little too early to make any plans, Jolie. Perhaps you could tell them later. Hey, you know what they say? Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. Yes, Borhan, I agree with Jolie. The poem made some sense. I think that we should value our lives and our friendship even more. And just like the candle, our lives are so short, so we should make full use of whatever time we have to do all that we can. Hey, Chandran, you're becoming so prophetic. Yes, I bet you've never heard him say that before. I think I'll spend some time with my mom. Wait for me. Do you guys know that the Shakespeare is considered the greatest dramatist in the world and the finest poet who has written in the English language? Dramatist. A writer of plays. Practice makes perfect, Alina. Practice makes perfect. A saying which means that the more you practice something, the greater the chances of perfecting it. As we come to the end of another episode, I hope that all of you have learned something today, not just on how to speak and write good English, but also how to respect and enjoy Mother Nature.